Does the load exceed more than 80% of the crane's working load capacity? More often than not, for structural steel, the lifting plan will fall in line with what we refer to as our sequencing plan, or erection direction. We cover this in more detail in the erection process, but this plan will outline what geographic location we will begin construction of our structure, what our phasing or sequencing looks like for setting columns, landing beams, joists, girder, etc., and every aspect of erection till completion of that structure. Our erection direction will have an established calendar, and with that calendar, it establishes what materials need to be set based on the schedule. Our lift plan will follow suit. The lift plan should be coordinated between project managers, foreman of the job, the operator, the riggers, and whoever else will be on the job. The steps to coordinating a lift plan is as follows. The schedule will be evaluated to assure we have the appropriate crane and equipment for the days of those lifts and when material shows up. The weight of the loads that will be coming down the pipeline for delivery should be evaluated. Size, length, and risk of various lifts are evaluated. Method of lifting or rigging should be predetermined to maximize for efficiencies and carrying at the center of gravity of steel. Does the load exceed more than 80% of the crane's working load capacity? Any lift that is over 80% of the crane's working load capacity needs what we call a critical lift plan, which breaks down limits to a T. Lastly, any other limitations such as weather, etc. Okay, stopping you for just 10 seconds. If you want to fast track your skills, the Worker Efficiency app has 40 hours of OSHA and Ironworker training, 144 videos for five bucks. Okay, that's a Red Bull. Download on iOS or Android, like and subscribe to us and enjoy the rest of the video.